Hi guys, Dennis Johnson. I'm a Red Lake Tribal member and uh, we're really excited to be launching Chief Cornerstone Church here on Highway 89, just south of the Red Lake Reservation. We're maybe about five miles south of the reservation here. Uh, we are uh, moving forward the uh, work that was started by Maynard Lavalley, uh, who the Lord called several years ago to Red Lake to build a church. So Maynard unfortunately passed away July of 2022, but we have continued to move this project forward because we feel it is 100% of the Lord and we are called to bring this forward. Transfer Mission Acres is a property that we bought uh, that'll transform people's lives. It's not just property. It's not just 70 acres, but it's transforming people's lives. I believe the Lord gave me that name uh, because it's not treatment. We're not there to treat them. We're there. God wants to transform them. In 2 Corinthians 5, 11, 5, 17, Therefore, if any man be Christ, behold, all things be past come to pass. All things become, all things become new. All things pass away. All things become new. God is, God is wanting to transform them. God was sending us there. The Lord spoke to me, and I didn't say anything to Maynard, nothing. And he um, had shared with me, we were living in Park Rapids. He came home, he was ministering, he was an evangelist, he was ministering on the road, and he said, Joan, I believe we're supposed to go to Red Lake. And I says, I know. But I didn't tell anybody. And I'm like, Lord, if this is from you, you tell my husband because I don't want him to come here thinking that I persuaded him to come here. No, no. The Lord had it all in its plan, in his plan. And I'm so excited very soon, Chief Cornerstone Church will be opening and with great hopes that we can help a lot of people who come through the door, you know, who have a, uh, shattered lives um, have no hope um, I really believe we're gonna be um, an inspiration to them and help them um, encourage them okay I'm Amira I am 14 years old and I am related to Pastor Maynard because I am his granddaughter um, I'm Jelena and he is my grandpa I think you would love it knowing that how much you guys done in this place and um yeah i think it's gonna be a, a good place for everyone i love it and i usually talk with people about church too and they seem to like it and i'm sure after camp a lot of people are going to start coming um i'm hoping it'll help a lot of people like get in the right path and like I'm hoping that a lot of people will start like believing in God and like making it to heaven and yeah we are living in the end times and we are in a spiritual battle and it's it's good against evil and I believe there's gonna be much good coming out of Chief Cornerstone Church I believe many souls are gonna be saved I just believe there's going to be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit here and we're going to see things that are just going to be phenomenal. phenomenal. It's just going to be unexplainable, but it's God. I always say, but God, but God. I know God is going to do a great and a mighty thing here. Um, at Chief Cornerstone Church and I'm excited I believe um, we're gonna see a lot of people in the surrounding area it will be a multi-colored church and many people from my reservation Red Lake Nation they are already asking Facebooking me through messages when is the church gonna be open and there are people that I would have never thought are wanting to come to church and that I want to be part of this. So that's God. That's God. There's no other explanation. That's God. Right when they walk through these doors, they're going to feel something different about this place. 
My hope is that a lot of people can come here, like, like they would want to come back and learn more. And, um, and Chief Cornerstone is independent and separate, so we are non-denominational as well, too. We are a spirit-filled evangelical church. We are 100% biblically based. If it doesn't reconcile back to the Bible, it's not going to be spoken within on this property or to these people. So we are being led by the Holy Spirit. We're asking the Lord to show us where to be, when to be, and how to be doing it in all things that we're doing here. So uh, we will be a non-denominational church. Can't wait for you guys to be here and help this place grow and become a lot more better and bigger than it already is. Thank you for helping my grandpa's dream to come true for this church. And I'm pretty sure he is happy to see that this church is built and it looks really nice. And I'm sure he's proud of everyone that has done all this. Miigwech. 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 Thank you.